1963 by Robert P. Fitton. Copyright 2014. The Robert P. Fitton Revocable Trust. The darkest places in hell are reserved for those who maintain their neutrality in times of moral crisis. Dante Alighieri, Italian national epic poet, 1265-1321. Author's Note Let us connect the dots. This is an unusual science fiction time travel novel that collides with the real Lee Oswald and his activities preceding the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. It is my hope that this novel will be a gateway to all aspects of the complex scenario that produced the death of President Kennedy. Rather than rely on official stories and character destruction, 1963 refers to validated events. I am not a researcher. This footnoted work is written on the shoulders of countless investigators who year after year search for the truth in the face of relentless criticism, humiliation, and the weight of government obfuscation. This book is not intended for those who experienced the horrific events in Dallas in November 1963, nor is it an encyclopedia. The weaving together of the conspiracy is presented to those not yet born when President Kennedy died. Contained is a simple connecting of the pertinent facts in the latter part of 1963. The truth remains alive because witnesses made courageous choices, as President Kennedy would have admired, to speak up in the face of threat, danger, and loss of position. Like President Kennedy, dozens of these men and women were murdered. As a time travel author, I am in awe of how history became remarkably altered by the murders and those complicit in aiding, abetting, and fomenting the plot on President Kennedy's life. Subsequently, the dogged, pervasive, and mostly ruthless cover-up persists 50 years later. The United States was founded as a republic with representative government. Lincoln said so eloquently when he stated that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. To capture these ideals, this nation needs the truth of just how that government derailed and failed to be a government of the people in 1963. Only then will we have another new birth of freedom and establish justice for President Kennedy. Robert P. Fitton, January 20th, 2014. This is a true story. It is known to the police department of one of our largest cities as the most difficult homicide case in its experience, principally because of the diabolical cleverness, intelligence, and cunning of a completely unknown killer. The record is set down here, factually, as it happened. Only the names have been changed to protect the innocent. The opening sequence of He Walked by Night, Eagle Lion Films, November 24, 1948, Johnny Rosselli, associate producer. For President Kennedy.